When duty calls and the impossible is the only option, a special cadre of soldiers are called. Enter the role of the sniper. Their job, hunt the most important targets with accuracy. One shot, one kill. No second chances. While snipers have to make incredible shots on a consistent basis, there are some that go above and beyond, defying logic and practicality and can almost be seen as dumb luck. In this episode, we look at three of the craziest sniper shots. Welsh Royal Marine sniper Matt Hughes was participating in the 2003 invasion of Iraq when ordered to take out an enemy soldier who was covered in a fortified position with only a small portion of his head and torso exposed. This, for an ordinary sniper, would be tough in itself, but it wasn't quite that simple. When ranging the shot, Hughes discovered that his targets were a little over half a mile away, which was beyond the range of the rifle he was using. Beyond this, the wind blew at an incredible clip. At this range, and with the wind, he knew a perfect shot could be blown off course and hit a tree 50 yards away with extreme ease. But with his eye down the scope, Hughes pointed 56 feet to the left and 38 feet high completely away from his target. And as he pulled the trigger, he watched as the arc of the bullet formed the shape of a giant banana and struck the enemy soldier directly in the chest. In 2014, an unnamed British sniper was stationed in Kakaran in southern Afghanistan. While most troops had withdrawn from the country, the British sniper was stationed on lookout duty. 930 yards away, he saw a group of six men. In the center was one man wearing a vest. It was rigged with explosives. Surprised by what he saw, taking a deep breath, aimed at the vest and pulled the trigger. With a large boom, when the dust settled, the sniper was surprised to see that not one, but all six of the men in the group had been neutralized. Our third craziest sniper was shot was by Carlos Hathcock. Carlos Hathcock was a US Marine Corps sniper serving in the Vietnam War, and he had a problem. He was so good at his job that the North Vietnamese government put a bounty of $30,000 out for his head. Inspired by the bounty, an unknown Vietnamese sniper set out to trap and eliminate Hathcock. The Vietnamese sniper used a dastardly technique. Preying on his love for his fellow soldiers, the enemy sniper shot down several of Hathcock's fellow Marines. Feeling that he was baited, he still went out to face the enemy soldier. Hathcock crawled through the forest for what seemed to be an endless amount of time. Staying out of sight, on his stomach with the sun beating on him from behind, he saw a glint of light reflected in between the trees. Hathcock knew what this meant. Aiming his rifle and looking through his sight, he aimed at the glint and fired. Hathcock, upon investigating, saw his foe collapse on the ground. Examining his enemy's rifle, he saw he had shot perfectly through the scope of his enemy, threading the needle from a third of a mile away. Shooting perfectly through the scope, Hathcock realized his enemy must have lined up the shot onto him and he would have been eliminated only seconds later if he didn't take the shot. While these three sniper shots were absolutely incredible, history holds many more impossible shots. Let us know if you liked hearing about the stories of these incredible snipers and whether or not they truly are the three best of all time. As always, like, comment, and hit the bell below to go to war with us every week, and we'll see you next time.